game two of the hockey semifinals, and it was a battle to the end. Tonight's theme, scoring in pairs. BU's Matt Nieto had two, Maine's Will O'Neill senior captain had two, and then to seal the deal, Joey Diamond had two, sending Maine to the championship game. Now, tomorrow's matchup versus BC will be something we saw back in 2010 when Boston College beat Maine 7-6 to six in overtime. Here's tonight's post-game reaction. Neil, two goals for you tonight. What was going on with you? Uh, I don't really know. I think, uh, you know, I've been getting my shots lately and, um, you know, maybe a little bit snake bitten um, the whole season. And uh, I just, you know, I, I was feeling it. And, you know, both both plays are good passes that guys made to me. Um, I just tried to get my head up and, and bury it, and I, and I did. You guys were really putting Milan under pressure, just keeping in that zone over and over. What was working? Um, like you said, I think uh, getting a lot of shots on them and getting pressure on their D down low. Um, we, we've got a lot of speed up front, and um, you know they've got some bigger D that um, it's tough to tough to skate when when you get the little guys buzzing around. So um, you know I think that's what uh, that's what we did, and, and we got a lot of uh, chances and then second chances and. Um, you know, obviously the second ones are the toughest for the goalies, so uh, that's that was our game plan to try to get as many shots and as many second shots as we could. And um, you know, on the other ones, we just buried them. Leading after two, you guys have an outstanding record this season. Did you feel like okay, you could t step back for a minute, or? Because it's Boston University, you weren't going to take the risk. Um, you know what? It's never it, it, going into the third. It's it's uh, no matter who you're playing in college hockey. It's uh, you know obviously a bunch of 20, 21 year olds and older that are um, you know that they they want to win this just as badly as you do. So I think um, you know it's important to stay focused and to, to try to execute execute the game plan as as well as we can and um, and stay calm and uh, obviously getting great goaltending from Sully. That's uh, you know that's uh, tremendous and. Um, you know, with him back with the backbone like that, it's uh, it makes it a lot easier to win. And um, you know, for the rest of the team, really got it out and, and played well down the stretch in the game. Sullivan made some phenomenal saves, a couple risky ones in the third. Talk about his play tonight. He played great. Um, he just uh, he battled. I, that's that's a big thing. I mean, there were a couple right in front of the net where it bounced off the the end board and then came back. Or he made a save and it was a rebound. The guy in the doorstep, um, you know, B hits the back doors a lot and. Um, they get some skilled guys up front, so I was really impressed with the way he's, he's played. He played tonight and the way he's been playing. He's, um, like I said, he's a rock first back there, so it's good. This is a situ tomorrow's game versus Boston College is a situation you were in just two years ago. I'm sure you can remember that game perfectly well. Seven six, they beat you in overtime. What are you going to do different this this year? Um, I think it's. Uh, you know, it's, they're two different teams, to be honest, and um, you know, it's a it's a great opportunity for us. We're, uh, you know, we're obviously the underdog in the situation, and that and that's really good. I mean, uh, you know, they got a high-powered team, and um, you know, that's that's proven that they can win. And um, you know, w w we want to come out and we want to challenge that. And uh, you know, we're going to do that with hard work and discipline and, and sticking to our game plan. And um, you know, if we do that, we're, we're going to give ourselves a chance to win. Um, and that's executing and hopefully you know we, we can pull it up and boston college is a powerhouse team penalty kills like crazy they have talent every area but what do you feel that you guys do really well that could put you in a good situation um you know i think uh we have a great team it's uh it's um you know we're we're all best friends in there that's it's not even a cliche it's true and uh that goes a long way um it's we're, we're really we have great camaraderie and um it shows in the game, and it shows it shows late in games. And um, you know, I think um, that's what we're, we're just going to go out there. Coach draws up a great game plan, and then we got to stick to it and, and work as hard as we can and stick together. And, um, and you never know. This is a situation you saw yourself in just two years ago. What's going to happen differently tomorrow night versus BC? Well, there's a lot of different players that weren't here then. Number one, our goalie. You know, so I know Danny's looking forward to this. And uh, but yeah, there's a lot of guys that were here, our juniors and seniors, and. Um, but you know we're we're just going to focus on the game within inside the glass on on Saturday tomorrow night. We've we've got to get some rest. We know we've got a big challenge in front of us. BC's an outstanding team, playing very well now. And uh, I mentioned uh, in the press conference that you know I think the positive of sweeping BC you know in January was it was it gave us a lot of confidence. The negative was we woke up a sleeping giant and and uh, they haven't lost since. So we we know it's going to be tough. But. Uh, but we're looking forward to this opportunity. And you did sweep them. Also, uh, Boston University, it seems like every big game this season you came out on top. Talk about that. 
Yeah, it's been a process, um, but yeah, we've we've been really rising uh, rising up to the big games uh, much better this season, and you know we've stayed pretty healthy, and we've got solid goaltending, and and our, our guys have just kept their composure. You know, I thought discipline really helped us tonight, and and uh, yeah, they seem to enjoy the big games, the challenges, and then tomorrow will be a big game. So uh, you know, hopefully we'll look forward to it and we'll embrace it and. Uh, can't wait to drop the puck. You've been healthy for most of the season, but Spencer Abbott, he might be out tomorrow. What will that do to the team? Well, yeah, it was tough even within the game adjusting, but we did. And, I, you know, and that's what a great team's about, just you know, adjusting when guys are down. And Spencer most likely will be out. So, uh, you know, we'll just have to uh, make some adjustments and uh, and uh, pull together. And, each, you know, you're not going to replace a guy like Spencer with his poise and the kid's got ice in his veins. It's crazy. He's, he's such a great player. But uh, but what you can do is, is other guys can, you know, uh, elevate their game a little bit each, and you put that all together, and now you've got an opportunity to make that up. Sullivan does not have much playoff experience. So what is he going to have to do to be solid for you guys in that? Well, I think just keep doing what he's doing. You know, stay focused and, and stay composed. He's a very calm kid. He's, he's really good under pressure. And he's just uh, developed into a real steady force back there. I mean, he made some huge stops. I mean, I, I don't think the shots reflect how many big stops he made. You know, both goalies were great. But uh, Danny really, uh, really came up big for us in many occasions. So uh, just keep doing what he's doing. He'll be fine. And Boston College has a lot of strengths, but what would you say the strengths your team has are? Well, we're pretty resilient. I guess that might be the best one. We've been able to adjust and uh, adapt to different situations and, you know, uh, fight through a lot of adversity. We started 3-6-1 and one and it didn't look good for us, but the guys just fought through it and kept chipping away and, and uh, really stuck together as a team. It's, it's a very cohesive unit, you know, and the guys really, they play hard for each other. We blocked a lot of shots tonight and uh, took a lot of hits and... Um, you know, so uh, it's, I think team chemistry and, and cohesiveness is our number one. You guys seem to really perform in big games. Frozen Fenway, you came out on top. You swept Boston College. You swept BC. How do you handle this pressure? Um, I don't know. We just stay focused. We stay calm. You know, we, we uh, stay loose, you know, and uh, we don't let anything, uh, you know, um, phase us, really. If we score a goal, if we're down a goal, we just want to keep a level head. Don't get too high. Don't get too low and stuff like that. Now, Spencer Abbott was most likely going to be out for tomorrow's game. How are you going to adjust? Um, you know, not not too much. We're we're gonna you know keep playing what we're keep playing the way we're playing. You know, um, you know, like I said, stay calm, uh, stay loose. You know, do the things that um, have been working for us uh, throughout the year. So, you know, it's it's tough that uh, you know he's not going to be in lineup. He's a catalyst to our team and. Uh, you know, we're just going to have to battle through it. And, uh, you know, some guys are going to have to step up. And, you know, I, I don't think uh, anyone's shy of doing that. You're an older guy, so you know all about playoffs. Two years ago, you had a good game. What are you going to have to do tomorrow to beat Boston College? Um, you know, we, we, we just want to play our game, stick to our systems, and uh, stay disciplined. And, uh, you know, if we can keep to those uh, keys of the game, uh, I think we, we might have a good shot of winning this thing.